Tourism stakeholders came together at the Marit Resort on Wednesday to discuss with members of the COVID-19 task force plans to reopen the economy, beginning with the reopening of bars and restaurants. For months, bars and restaurants have been closed to prevent people from gathering and spreading the coronavirus. But now the health authorities are advising the reopening of these businesses with specific guidelines in place. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Colleen Henry Morton, said it is very important important to let the science guide the decision making when reopening bars and restaurants. There must be a science-based approach to reopening of the sector as the COVID-19 pandemic is primarily a health crisis and must be handled foremost by the health profession, professionals and persons with the required expertise in disease prevention and control. All of the countries or states that have been coping with COVID-19 with high levels of success or who have managed to control its spread have adopted a science-based approach. She said there must be a gradual phased reopening of the tourism sector and all individuals must follow the safety protocols and standards that will be put in place and reinforced. Meanwhile, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws gave information on the nature of coronavirus, how it spread, and measures that bars and associations can take to restrict its spread. She also emphasized that going to restaurants and bars is a social event which can lead to the spread of the disease. When patrons and customers come to a bar and restaurant, they like to sit down and talk and, you know, laugh and you re really share. But we need to remember that even in doing so, uh, individuals run the risk of emitting droplets that, uh, that can be viral laden. When you look at the science coming out of uh, China and uh, Europe, a number of persons who were diagnosed with COVID-19, uh, when they were uh, interviewed by their medical practitioner, they, they were able to state that they picked it up at restaurant X or Y. During the discussion, the participants looked at models used in other Caribbean countries and added their own input to shape a policy that could be used for St. Kitts and Nevis. The final set of guidelines will be laid out in a forthcoming statutory rules and orders legislation. No data has been set as yet to reopen bars and restaurants.